Hey, what's up? You know, lately I saw a lot of people defining their own meaning to the word spirituality. And every time I hear someone defines the word to spirituality, it always goes something like, you know, for me, spirituality is depth. For me, spirituality is presence. For me, it always has to be something really, really deep and profound to understand spirituality. Well, I don't want to take away from anyone's perception of spirituality, but let me simplify it real quick for you, okay? Here's what spirituality is. Don't be a fucking asshole, okay? Simple and simple. Don't be an asshole might sound overly simplified, right? But then again, it's not that simple. Let me explain. When it comes to don't be an asshole, you need to not be an asshole to yourself and then not to be an asshole to everyone else. And that is not a very easy task to do, right? Not being an asshole revolves through a lot of experimenting and understanding and analysis and reflection and questioning not only yourself but other people right if you did something to hurt someone basically you were an asshole to that person you want to come to that person and ask him why did i do to hurt you and please tell me how can i improve right so let's first of all to make to make sense out of everything let's break it down a little bit yeah so not to be an asshole to yourself not to be an asshole to yourself is the first and foremost thing you need to find out, find out how to do in order to live a spiritual life. Yeah, if you're constantly an asshole to yourself, you cannot be a non-asshole to other people because if you hate yourself and you treat yourself like a scum and like a piece of shit, that's how you'll feel all the time and that is the energy that you will reflect. These are the people that you will attract and that is what you will bring out into the world. Shitness. So how do you not become an asshole towards yourself? Let me share with you a little uh, image I like to share with people that makes them understand this, yeah? So imagine that there is a person in your life, yeah, that you live with all the time. You cannot in any way get rid of this person. This person has always been there and this person will always be there. You go to take a shit, this person is with you. You go to take a shower, this person is with you. You go to the gym, this person is with you. Everywhere, no matter where you go, this person is right by your side. Quite horrendous, isn't it? <laughs> no matter what it is though, let's just for, for, for the sake of imagination, yeah, indulge me and imagine this, yeah? So this person is with you all the time, right? That means that whenever you get a phone call, he is the first to listen to it. Whenever you get a text, he is the first to read it, except for you, of course. Whenever you get good news or bad news, they are the first person to hear about it. Yeah? Now, imagine if this person is a really, really negative person. Yeah? This person, everything you say to him or her, they go like, eh. You know, let's say you got into this really high-end uni and you go, Hey, I got into this uni. I always wanted to be in this uni. And the guy goes, you know, you're probably going to fail. Like, you're not, you're not worth anything. You're probably going to fail. It's probably going to be too much for you. You know, just like your dad always told you. You know, if you fall down, if you, if you fucked up, yeah? I don't know, you, you, you forgot to pay a loan on time and the interest went up and now you owe 25% more money. And then that guy would say something along the lines of, you know, you're such a fuck up. I knew you wouldn't be able to do this on time. I absolutely knew it, you know? If you fall down, he will laugh at you. If, you become, if you're embarrassed, he will laugh at you and say that you're a fuck up. Let's say that this is the quality of the person who lives alongside you all the time. I wouldn't like that person. And if I'm stuck with this kind of person for the rest of my life, oh my God, oh my God, I would act to change it as fast as possible. I would either commit murder to this person or I will try to ask this person to give me a fucking break and stop being such a fucking asshole, right? Now imagine for a second the other edge of the spectrum, 
yeah, that this person who lives alongside you is the most amazing and supportive person there is. If you fall down, he'll pick you right back up and tell you, no, uh, no worries, just keep going, it's okay. If you fuck up, he will tell you, yeah, it's fine, you fucked up, let's learn from it, let's see what we can learn from it. If you get into this uni that you wanted to get into all your life, he will be so fucking happy for you, he will jump to the sky with joy. You know, he'll say, way to go, I knew you can do it, you're amazing, you're incredible. Way to go, good luck to you, you know? That would be a bit better, right? This person is still stuck up your ass for the rest of your life, but at least it's a person who you can have a relationship with, right? At least it's a person who, who, who is not talking you down and that is bringing you up, right? Now, that person who I asked you to imagine actually does exist in your life and that person is none other than you. Think about it. Everything you do, you criticize yourself. Everything you hear, you analyze and then criticize, right? You want to wake up at 5 a.m., but there is a side of you that tells you that you want to go back to sleep. You want to eat that chocolate cake, but there is a side of you that tells you, no, it's bad for my abs, whatever, right? You want, and don't need to give any more examples, yeah? So you are in that sense in a relationship with yourself all the time. If you are judgmental and if you are an asshole to yourself all the time, if anything that happens to you, if you want to go out on drinks with friends and you go and you look in, on the mirror and you tell yourself you're ugly, you have a big nose, you know, that's not in any way a supportive behavior, right? If you're being an asshole to yourself saying you're a fucking ugly creature, yeah, you look like Shrek, look at you, look at you, you fucking asshole. Yeah, th this, this is not supportive behavior, right? This is not supportive in any way and this is not productive in any way. But if you are a supportive friend to yourself, if you are not an asshole to yourself, if you look in the mirror and you say, you are an absolutely beautiful creature of creation, you know? I think you're amazing. And not in a cocky way, but in an honest way, you know? Yeah, go out with friends, have that beer. I love you, have a good time, you know? To yourself, to yourself, not being an asshole to yourself. If you are that supportive friend, that supportive character, that guiding light to yourself, this is spirituality, part one. This is spirituality. Let's talk about part two now, yeah? Not being an asshole to others. Let's say that you love yourself and that you think you are awesome. That's great. Part one done. Next up is how does that knowing manifest itself in the outside world? If you love yourself dearly and you think you're the man or the woman and you use this love to bully others, to talk down to others, to be cocky, to be arrogant, yeah? If you know your own self-worth, but you use it in order to make others feel bad, you're not really doing anything. You're just a fucking hypocrite, right? And then you need to look into yourself and ask yourself, what, where is this need to hurt people comes from? Why do I feel the need to talk down to people? Normally, it's some unresolved issue you have with yourself. If you feel the need to talk down to people, if you feel the need to make people see that you are better than them, if you feel the need to be a bully, yeah, especially us athletes, we are strong people, yeah? We can bully most people, unless they're BJJ fighters and then they can kick our asses, right? But we can bully most people, yeah, because we are physically strong individuals. It's easy to bully people. It's really easy. Ask yourself, why is it that I need to bully someone? Why is it that I need someone to feel bad so I will feel good? You know? The easiest way is almost never the correct way. It's a lot harder to be compassionate. And it's a lot harder to love. It's a lot harder to love most of the time. It's much, much better to be this person who can kick your ass and love the shit out of you at the same time. 
yeah? You have the ability to kick ass. It doesn't mean you have to use it all the time. This is an ability that is conserved for emergencies. This is an ability that is conserved for moments that are fight or flight, that are danger. When you're not in danger, it's time to love. It's time to honor. It's time to bring people up. It's time to be a light to other people, to inspire other people, to not be a fucking asshole. I have a saying that I take wherever I go with me. And that saying is give everything you can for free, but remembering your value. And that is the epitome of spirituality. Remembering your value, not being an asshole to yourself, remembering how awesome you fucking are and giving whatever you can for free because love is ultimately free. Give everything you can for free and love yourself while doing it. Don't be an asshole to yourself. Don't be an asshole to others.